and welcome again to another learning lab. I am Ms. Davila with Ms. Fry in Pre-K A. Welcome scholars from Pre-K B, Ms. Turner and Ms. Keaton's scholars, and welcome Pre-K C, Ms. Zeno scholars. Hi friends. Today we have something very exciting to share with you. But first, can you all tell me, and from the last time we were together, what observe means? Yes, observe means we look with our eyes and we explore with our hands. So now we're going to do an experiment called self-inflating balloon. Now everyone knows what this is regular balloon. We can blow it, it becomes a big balloon, but this one is going to blow up by itself. That's what self-inflate means. All right. Now, for this experiment, if you would like to do it at home, you must do it with an adult only. You will need help in getting some stuff from the kitchen that you may have. Uh, we do have some baking soda right here. In this bottle, it looks like water, but it's actually vinegar. Okay, vinegar is what you need. A tablespoon and an empty water bottle. Now for this experiment, it may get a little, uh, little messy. So definitely I want you to wear clothes that you can be able to wash later. I have on my lab coat so I can keep myself clean. Do y'all all know what this is? That's right, friends. It's used to help protect my eyes. I'm going to get ready to learn. So I'll put those on. I will roll up my sleeves. And let's get ready for another learning lab. So for this, I have an empty plate in front of me and a paper towel. I will take two tablespoons, so two spoons. I'm going to put it over the empty napkin so that I can be able to clean up my mess. Now this next part, you can have someone hold your balloon open or you may use a funnel. I am going to try and do it out a funnel and slowly pour that into the balloon. Very nicely. And it's okay, this is what this is for, to help keep our messes clean. I'm gonna pour it in here again. Right. So it feels a little full down here. Now we're going to open our water bottle, our empty water bottle. I'm going to pour about two to three ounces. Oh, oh, it stinks. <laughs> Only smell it if your mom or dad allows you to. I'm going to pour about two to three ounces here into the empty water bottle. Okay, just about that enough right there. You can see. Not too much. Just pouring just a little. I'm going to put the top back on this and we'll put this to the side. Now next comes the tricky part, okay? Now you're gonna take the opening of your balloon and you're gonna put it on top of your butt. We're not gonna take our baking soda and pour it all in there like this. We gotta hold it down, so make, make sure you're very careful, okay? I'm gonna 
take this around our bottle. Okay, this was perfect. And now here comes the fireworks. <laughs> We're going to now, since this is tightly, make sure it's tightly over the opening of your water bottle. I'm going to pour the rest in here and see what happens. <gasps> it's blowing up the balloon! Oh, look at that! You see that, friends? All by itself. All right, that was a wonderful job. So what I would like for you guys to do, if you do decide to do this at home, definitely take pictures and send it to your teachers. We'll love to see it. Also, tell me some things that went wrong or went right. Sometimes things mess up. Like for me, I didn't have a funnel, so I made a little bit of a mess, and it's okay. Let me know if your balloon popped it was very small. Please let me know if you enjoyed this and you would like to see more of these. Thank you so much and we'll see you again, friends. Bye.